Hello guys and welcome to our highlights from our FA Cup game against Cribs. Despite being a league apart, it was hard to tear the two teams apart in the early minutes with both teams looking hungry for an early goal. It was Chris with the first big opportunity though, with good free from Hurley seeing the attacker tripped by Vasma. Just outside of the box, Cribs were given a free kick and McElrain stood up, hitting the shot high and wide. Down the other end of the pitch, Gosport yet again gave away another foul. A collision between Ramos and Bennett saw the Portuguese see yellow and tempest rise among the players and management teams. But it was Ramos yet again involved with the next chance which brief and Cumberbatch marching forward. The midfielder did well to dispatch a ball onto Kavanaugh with the defender hitting a shot at goal. It forced a good save from Brown but the rebound narrowly missed Ramos which would have seen the striker with an open goal in front of him. Despite not scoring from this opportunity, Ramos never misses twice. Taking a crack at range, Hollins launched the ball, ricocheting off of the post and falling to the feet of Ramos. The Portuguese then fired the ball, driving agonisingly slow, eventually rolling past the goal line and giving us a one goal lead. After the goal, Gosport seemed to get in the groove. A free kick on the edge of the box saw midfielder Harvey Roo goal for goal. A good knuckleball forced the keeper to dive low, pushing it out for a corner. However, moments later, Gosport managed to get the second of the game. Our main man downward and rose high to reach a Kavanaugh cross. Making good contact with the ball, there was just the right amount of power to slam the ball in the back of the net to make it 2-0 to Gosport. Borough weren't done yet though as there was a corner ball awarded just before the half-time whistle. The FA Cup ball found its way to Harvey Roo. Instead of passing, the midfielder went for the spectacular goal from 30 yards out. However, there was just a bit too much power which saw the effort go high and wide. And the half-time whistle went, Gosport 2, Cribs 0. The second half saw the addition of Pompey Loney, Harvey Laidlord. Despite being on the pitch for a number of seconds, Laidlord eventually found himself through on goal after a brilliant through ball from former Pompey midfielder Hollins. But the youngster's first touch wasn't a great one as he blazed the ball over the bar. Although Gosport were the more dominant team in the second half, Cribs did try and get back into the game. Snatching the ball from Laidlord, Kello followed this up by passing the ball on to Bennett with the wingback trying to find the back of the net. Bennett slashed the shot across the face of goal but ended up going wide of the net. This opportunity was then followed up by another deadly chance. McElrain did extremely well to dance his way into the gospel box with a good turn giving him a great angle at goal but quick reactions from Stewart saw the goalie stick out a right foot to deflect the effort. Even with these chances, Gosport punished the opposition for not taking their chances by instead getting the third of the game. Similar to the second goal, Wooden in the centre of the box did extremely well to get a touch to divert the ball into the bottom corner to make it 3-0 to Gosport. With the contest being more or less over, Cribs still seemed desperate to get on the goal list. This time it was Kello who was sent through on goal, slicing a shot against the goal deck Stewart yet again deflected the effort with Vasma following up the rebound by clearing the ball from the danger zone. With minutes left of the game, the last big opportunity came from Gosport. Smart play from Tarbuck saw Cumberbatch free in front of goal. Trying to find a bottom corner, Brown did well to get down low and get a hand to stop the goal. The game then finished 3-0 to Gosport, which reinforces Gosport's brilliant mentality, showing them to be able to bounce back despite the loss earlier this week. To sweeten the victory, the players then celebrated with the Borough faithful, with the question on everyone's mind being, how far can Gosport take it in this magical competition? But the final words from me, up the Borough.